Hi guys, Andy here. Um, another accessory, uh, not specifically Android related, but definitely kind of mobile phone related or gadget tablet related. Um, I've got here a four port rapid car charger from Inatech. Um, so not the most glamorous of devices uh, or accessories, but something that I've been trying a lot of different types to try and find something that can actually rapid charge in the car. Now, this one says it's a rapid car charger, so my hopes are quite high. Um, I've had a few products from Inatech. They're generally well-made. Um, you know, Usually, they're fairly reliable products. Uh, it's reasonably well-packaged, as we can see. We have an instruction manual. An instruction manual for a car charger. Plug it in, and you're pretty much done. Um, it does point out kind of the voltages, the amperages. Um, there are four ports giving, I think, 2.1 amps. Um, so in theory, all four of them can charge kind of tablets, basically. Uh, here's the actual device. It feels good. I like the kind of, uh, it's quite a solid, it doesn't, doesn't feel like it'll give way within the first week or anything like that. Uh, you know, generally it feels pretty good. There's our four different ports. What is it? So that, oh, 2.4. 4 amps, I do apologize, 2.4 amps each. And it just uh, clarifies on the back there that it's uh, the Inatech model. Um, it feels good, feels solid. I don't think that's aluminium, but it does feel good. Um, let's have a look what else is in the box. And here we have a couple of uh, micro USB charge cables with a Rather cool new Velcro, basically. Um, so it doesn't. There we go. We see it's nicely. They feel feel good. They feel like good cables. So is this one a mini USB? To ma no, it's another micro USB. So two micro USB. Fair enough. I mean that's going to be the standard going forward. I do still have a few things that are mini USB, like my GoPro. So uh, oh, even this new Velcro, this funky new Velcro, actually sticks to my felt. It feels almost almost smooth on the top but uh velcro sticks to it they do feel actually very good cables nice sort of rubberized good quality uh cables which to be honest in itself um they can be quite hard to get hold of decent decent cables um you would be surprised how often sort of slow charging is actually down to a poor cable anyway there we go that's the uh, the contents of the box nicely packaged good product let's head out to the car now, the first problem that I sort of hadn't really thought about was, actually, that doesn't go in because it's such a big, there we go, turn it sideways, you see the blue light lights up. I've got my Inatech cable plugged in already. There you go, you see the, the kind of the glow around the light showing that there is power. So then we're going to uh, plug it into the phone, and I'm using Ampere here, the app that will measure the uh, charge going into the device. It starts off at half an amp, which worries me but it gradually grows and grows and rises and we're going to see that it's going to come up to sort of a full amp now i don't quite understand why it wouldn't become you know it says it's going to kick out 2.4 amps um but my phone is only receiving one amp um i couldn't tell you why that is maybe someone with better electrical knowledge can explain it but it looks like the search continues, unfortunately. This isn't going to rapid charge your device. Just to show you, I plugged it in when I got back in, and we're getting up. I mean, at one point, it was showing at 2 amps. Anyway, I mean, 1 amp from your uh, car is still good. It's still generally enough that it's going to, you know, even if you're streaming music and you're using sat-nav, it's going to charge the device. It unfortunately just doesn't quite get up to that rapid charge ability that we can see here from the main charger. Anyway, a good product, well made. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.